Hi, my name is Mr. Raymond Ainz. Welcome to the Mangrove Visitor Center, just one step away from Georgetown. Here, this whole architecture building, which is about 150 years old, tells the story of the Mangrove Visitor Center. Here is our visitor center, where we share our knowledge of mangrove. We know mangrove protect us from the sea, so why don't we protect them also? The spin-off effect of the mangrove restoration project have maintained actually two dozen families in the five villages, which is the reserve area. And if you notice in our case here, we have the guava jam, the honey, which is a golden kind of honey because it have the bee have pollinated on the black mangrove, so you can get a golden kind of honey. Here, you also have the bee wax candle, which is a 24 hour burning candle, and the green seasoning. They're all here in the case for sale too. From the visitor center, remove either by horse cart or by your own transportation. Our next stop would be the Emancipation Hut, where the A3 farmer slave normally go to collect the little stipends. This hut is about 150 years old. Wouldn't you like to see that? From the hut, we are going to the Wilbur Force Congregational Church. This church was built in 1845, where the slave after decided to go back to work, go there to worship also. Wouldn't you like to see that church? It is still there. From the Wilbur Force Congregational Church, this is where the nature adventure starts. You can get to have a look at our wetland. You can get to have a look at the sunfish. You can get to have a look at the monkey in this area. You can get to have a look at our beehive, which is also in that 1.5 kilometer stretch of black mangrove. To have a look most importantly of the three species of mango that grow in this one area. Also have our local folk song play here. We invite you visitors to come and sing with us also. And we also have the mango jingle play by drums too. wetland at the front of the wetland we have all our medicinal plants you can come and have a talk with Miss De Jesus Carlet De Jesus and she will tell you all about our medicinal bushes then they would start getting babies non-stop on your way back from the tour you can also enjoy the international ashram a beautiful view where sun sets at times and you can have a good look at it way back after the two hours of good tour you can stop at Ingrid cane juice stand and enjoy the fresh cane juice and enjoy the tour it's an adventure of a lifetime just half an hour away from the capital city of Georgetown <laughs>